Hi all, good morning. I hope all of you are fine. Welcome to your ICT class. Okay, in our last class we have learned about the software known as G chemical which helped us to create molecular structures. The learning objective for today's class is to learn about LibreOffice Impress software to create presentations. In earlier times we have used overhead projectors for making presentations and by using this uh, projector that is the overhead projector we could present images and text prepared in transparent sheets and we used to project the images and text on screens or walls by using light rays but today we can effectively present our ideas before others by using pictures and motion pictures with the help of computers and that is known as multimedia presentation multimedia presentation is a slideshow so presentation with sound effects and images is possible by using the multimedia presentation facility we have different presentation software packages uh, that is given in this table okay the first column uh, gives different software packages for creating pr uh, presentations and second column is uh, their developers so first one is LibreOffice Impress, which is developed by the Document Foundation. Second one is Apache Open Office Impress, developed by Apache Software Foundation. Third one is Caligra Stage, developed by KDE. Then uh, next one is Keynote, developed by Apple Inc. Then last one is Microsoft PowerPoint, which is developed by Microsoft. So these are some of the uh, software packages which help us to make presentations and these are the uh, developers okay so in ubuntu we are using libreoffice impress okay now in your textbook page number 123 a box is given with a heading presentation storyboard all of us have heard about the term storyboard in connection with film making animation etc so before shooting of a film some preparations are to be made first a story has to be identified then we have to make a script after that, uh, we have to prepare notes which includes very minute details that are not there in the script. And these notes are known as storyboard. So similarly, before preparing a presentation, we have to uh, do some preparations. That is, uh, the details about how and where the text, table, picture, sound, video, etc. are to be displayed. So we have to make an outline before making presentation. And that is known as presentation storyboard now in the next page here a model storyboard is given here there are three slides first one is uh, with the title land utilization and vegetable cultivation then here uh, a collage of various vegetables a picture has to be uh, included then other details like font size, color, background, animation, transition, etc. are given. Then second slide is uh, the title objectives for uh, objectives of the study. Two points are given. Then again uh, the details like font size, color, etc. are given. Then the last slide is methodology. Here also we have to insert a picture. Then uh, the font size, uh, color, background, color, animation, such details are also given. Okay, so here... Uh, a model storyboard is given this model storyboard means it is an outline of the presentation that we has to we have to make so we have to uh, make this uh, presentation in LibreOffice impress okay so uh, let's move on to our first activity that is typing the content for that we have to open LibreOffice impress software for that go to applications then select office then from that select LibreOffice Impress. Okay, now when we open LibreOffice Impress, a window is opened which gives many different templates. This is to choose different uh, templates from here but we need not uh, do this. So we can click on this cancel button then we'll enter into the main window. Here we can see two text boxes. First one click to add title. Second one click to add text. Okay, so we have to click here then we can give the title then we can click here then we can give the content so these two are two text boxes in order to write text now uh, let's give the title the title of the 
First slide is land utilization and vegetable cultivation. So let's give the title land utilization and vegetable cultivation. Okay, this is how we can give the title and it is asked to uh, give the font size 44. So select this title. Then from here in properties window, we can change the font style, font size, bold, italics, underline, color, etc. So all these uh, things, that is how to change the properties of the text. All these are just like uh, we have changed the properties in LibreOffice Writer that we have learned in our first chapter. Okay. So here the font size is already 44. So no need to change it. So this is how we can give the title. Now we have to insert the next slide. To insert next slide, we have two methods. Either go to this slide menu, then select new slide option. This is first method or here we have a new slide button. Click here. Okay. So either from slide menu, select new slide or click on this new slide uh, button. Okay, now we have inserted a new slide. So while inserting a new slide, we can select the required layout. Okay, for that also we have two methods. Either we can click on this arrow mark near to this new slide button. Then we can see many layouts. We can select the required layout from here. Or second method is we have another tool that is slide layout tool. Okay, click this. Then also we can see many layouts. We have a blank slide title slide, title and content, title and to content, title only, sender text, etc. Okay, so we can select the required uh, layout for the slide from here. We have two methods, either click on this arrow mark next to the new slide button, then select the required layout or select this uh, slide layout tool, then um, we can select the required layout from here. Okay, our uh, second slide uh, title is objectives of the study. So let's give the title objectives of the study. Now uh, we can insert the third slide. So for inserting a new slide either go to slide menu and select new slide or click on this new slide uh, button. Then we can uh, select the layout from here. We'll select a blank slide. Okay. Now in a blank slide, in order to uh, type a text, we need a text box. So how can we add a text box? For that, we have a insert text box tool here. Select this tool. Now click and drag inside the slide. Then uh, a text box will be inserted. Inside this text box, we can uh, type the text. The third slide uh, title is methodology. So uh, let's type methodology here. Here in this properties window, we can see uh, slide properties. Here we have to uncheck this box master objects. Okay, then here from layouts, we can select the required layout. Either we can select the layout from here or we have a slide layout tool here. We can select the required layout from here or while inserting a new slide itself, we can select the layout from here, new slide tool. Okay, so this is the first step of making a presentation that is typing the prepared content in the storyboard in different slides. So this is the first step of preparing a presentation. Now uh, let's save this presentation. So how to uh, save a presentation? Go to file menu, select save option, then a new window appears. Here we have to give a suitable name. Okay, after giving the name, we have to select the uh, folder in which this file should be saved. So we'll select documents folder, then click on this save button. Now this presentation is saved. 
Okay, now let's summarize what we have learned in today's class. Uh, we have learned about LibreOffice Impress, uh, which is a software used to make uh, presentations. You have already learned about the software in your lower classes. Okay, uh, so how to open the uh, software? Go to Applications, select Office, then select LibreOffice Impress. Then uh, we have learned that um, in earlier times we have used overhead projectors for making presentations but nowadays we can effectively uh, present our ideas by using a uh, computer that is we have a technology known as multimedia presentation. Uh, we have many software packages for making presentations and in Ubuntu we are using LibreOffice Impress. Then uh, before preparing a presentation we have to uh, make some preparations that is we have to make a outline of the presentation that means um, how and where the text table picture sound video etc are to be displayed so such preparations or such uh, outline uh, which is prepared before making the presentation that is known as presentation storyboard then uh, we'll open the uh, LibreOffice Impress software then uh, a window will appear which is to choose different types of templates we'll click uh, we have to click on the cancel button then uh, we can enter into the main window then uh, in the first slide uh, we can see two text boxes click to add title and click to add text there we can give the uh, heading or the title of the presentation then in order to insert uh, new slides we have two methods either go to slide menu and select new slide option or we have a uh, insert new slide uh, button or tool in the toolbar then uh, in order to insert a text box uh, there we have a insert text box tool in the toolbar so that is the first step of making presentation uh, that is typing the content in different slides after that we have seen how to save the uh, presentation for that go to file menu then select save option a window will appear we have to give a suitable name for the file then select the folder in which this file should be saved after that click on the save button the presentation will be saved so i hope all of you have understood the topics that we have discussed in today's class see you next class bye